everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I'm here with a different weird tutorial, and that's actually how to make super cool 3D renders in Blender uh, of Minecraft characters, so let's just get started. Now, this is super duper cool because it uses Blender, which is totally free program. So first thing that you want to do is you want to go to Blender, download, and just probably, it will probably be the first thing that pops up, just download blender.org. Now I already have Blender and I do not want to go through the process of re-downloading it. It's super duper easy though guys, just follow um, what they say to do. Just hit download Blender, get it installed, everything should be working great. There's plenty of ways, that it's really really easy to get, so uh, just get that first. Once Blender is working, we want to get to actually downloading the rig because I do not make these myself. That would be really, really hard. Uh, but this awesome website has plenty and plenty of um, rigs and items and blocks. It's insane. So just download this. Uh, the website is www.rymdnisse.net. Link down in the description. Um, and it's really, really awesome. So once you get to here, you can also just search Blender Rig, and it, this is the first one that pops up. Uh, you want to switch it from right here, from internal to cycles, and then hit download. Now once you, it has finished downloading, go into your downloads folder, uh, double click on it, and then hit extract all files. It might look a little bit different in, if you're on Windows 10, but just look for extract files all files and then you'll come up with all this now what you want to do with all this is well you can just exit out this file it's not a big deal and then you want to go back to your downloads folder and try to find that file in this case it's right here and you can drag this wherever it would be best that's the file that you really really want to keep and you can delete the old zip file now this has everything that you're going to need so what you want to do now is just open up blender it should look like this. You can just click anywhere to get rid of the splash face. Now I'm going to go over the steps as if people watching this are a complete newbie. They just opened up Blender for the first time. Now Blender's a little bit weird, so I'm going to take a few seconds to just go over the simple uh, controls. Now to get rid of the splash face, just click anywhere uh, with the left click. With the left click. Now you need a mouse to work Blender. That's like really really important because it's just how Blender works. To move around, you might think that you have to click and drag uh, the left click button, but that's not how Blender works. That will actually relocate this little cursor you can see following me around. Uh, to actually maneuver around Blender, you have to click the wheel mouse button, and that should make it so you're able to move around the Blender uh, 3D. Uh, space. Now first thing that you want to do is you want to hit the uh, X button and press delete. That will get rid of the cube. Now if you want to select something, what you have to do is hit the right mouse button and hover, put your mouse over whatever you want to select. So you can see I'm selecting this right here which is a lamp and I'm selecting the camera over here. Uh, and you see that turns a yellowish color. That means that it is selected. You can also hit A to deselect everything and press A again to select everything. That's just some things that you have to know about Blender to get started. Uh, but anyway, let's start actually implementing um, the rig into Blender. Now, first thing that you want to do is press File, hit Apprehend, and then find that file that we downloaded earlier, not the zip file, the regular file, and this case is on my desktop. So open up that file, and then you want to press Minecraft simple rig dot blend. Double click that or just click. And then go into group and then character. And you'll see that this will pop up. Uh, once again, you can go around and look at it holding down the middle mouse uh, wheel button. And you can also zoom in and out if you just scroll uh, the middle mouse wheel button. And then if you want to go side to side like this, you want to press shift and also hold down and drag your mouse, uh, hold down the middle real button and drag your mouse. Now, you'll see nothing. You'll just see that white cube right now. And to change that, what you want to do is you want to go over here 
to this little white ball and change it from a solid to a material. Now you'll see that it's just all green and looking weird and that is because up here where it says Blender Render, you have to change this to Cycles Render. And now you'll see Steve. Now for you, Steve, it might look something like this, a complete blur. And to change that, what you have to do is come up here to File, press, um, where is it? Ooh, where is it? Uh, user Preferences, and uncheck uh, Bip Maps. Mip. Mip Maps? I don't even know. Uh, and then hit Save User Settings, and then hit the X. Now you'll see the nice pixelized Steve. Now what you want to do is you want to go to Minecraft.net, and you actually want to type in this, and then you want to go slash profile. And make sure that you're already logged in. And this will bring you to um, every all your data and your profile and whatnot. Go to skin, and come over to your current skin, right click on it and hit save image as dot 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 and go to where you want to save it. In this case, I'll save it to my desktop and I'll name it, name it TNTN because that's my username. Now come in to Blender again and right click on this outer layer of him. Make sure you're not selecting the bones inside like right here. You'll see that that turned green and not this head layer right here. You want inside of that head layer, which goes all the way around the Steve. Now what you want to do is you want to go over here to materials right here, this little ball with like divide into four things, and then click this button right here, uh, like a file, a, a piece of paper, whatever you want to call that image right there, and then click the bottom, uh, bottom button, which says right file to original location, and then you'll get this error. That's totally fine though, because what you want to do now is just click that button again that says open image. You want to go to that skin that you just downloaded of yourself. So in this case, it's over there. And you'll see that, well, just does not quite look right. And that's because you have to go over here to um, data, uh, data object data, I don't know <laughs> what that's called. I'm guessing it's called that. And then you come down here to plus 1.8 skin you click on that so now it should be blue and you'll see that I'm back and then you press this little camera button next to it so that once it's rendered it will still look like this instead of looking like well this and then ignore the purple cube we'll take care of that in just a second and now it should your skin should be looking good if it already looked good before doing this then just stay in the old version uh, but in this case we want the new version now press this little head box right here, uh, this box just around the head like so, and go into the materials tab and press this little plus button right next to image texture. And then press this file right here and then go and open up your skin again. And now if you hit, uh, if you hit shift Z, you'll see this mess again, you, it's, it's weird. Uh, so hit shift Z again to exit out of that view, come down here and once again, press that uh, plus 1.8 skin and then hit that little camera. And now you'll see nothing happen. It's still, still just a box. And that is because you actually have to hit Shift Z to see it. This is rendered view. This is how it's going to look at the end. And now you'll see that your second layer of your head is there. In this case, it's a crown. So that's lo looking pretty good now. Uh, but we got to get some lighting. To do that, click on this lamp right here hit use nodes and then make it a sun instead I find suns just a lot easier now if you have a number pad then hit uh, 3 and hit 5 now if you do not have a number pad that's totally fine just go down here to view and press right here view perspective slash over graphic in this case it's gonna take me out of it cuz I was in it and then go down to view again and press right or er, uh, number pad 3 either way and now you can move your sun and hit R to rotate it. Oh yeah, sorry, G to move. G to move the sun. Uh, left click to secure that place and right click if you want to bring it back to where it was. Press R to rotate, like so. And actually I want it on the other side. I want it hitting his face instead, like that. And now I'm going to press 7 and I'm going to make sure the sun is lined up. Once again, you can go down here to view and do top instead 
and now the sun's directly on my guy. I'm gonna hit five. Once again, you can go down to here and hit orth uh, orthographic slash perspective. And now if you hit shift Z, that'll show you what it'll look like. And wow, that's way too much sun. So come over here to the strength of the sun, make sure the sun's selected and do, I'd say, let's try 50. You guys can do whatever you want. Just kind of mess around with it. That's way too strong, 10. 10 looks about right, maybe maybe even like five. Depends what the lighting is in your scene. Uh, but really fast, if you guys do not want a sun, you guys do not want shining down, uh, then you can also go and make a point, or actually do an area. And this will just like make an area, a small area, instead of lighting up the whole place. So here, actually, we can also do spot. You can do a lot of different lights. Uh, they all do different things. It's kind of hard to explain, which makes me sad. Uh, but you can also do like something like spotlight. You know, uh, I think spotlight's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can do, just do some really, really cool things. And don't know why that's not showing up, but it's all right. Um, you guys can always mess around with stuff. And just have fun, you know? That's the main thing about this, is to make it how you like it and to make it fun for you. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to bring the sun back. And he's looking pretty good at this point. So we want to pose him now. To do that, you have to right click on your guy and select the bones inside of him. Now you're going to press tab and it's going to bring him all crazy like, like this. And that's because right down here it says edit mode. You want to go into pose mode because you're posing him right now. Now once you go into pose mode, you can select individual bones like so. Now to actually model him how you want him to, you have to rotate these like so, and you have to grab them like that. And then this right here is kind of like the center of his bones. Like if you rotate this guy, everything rotates. If you grab this guy, everything gets grabbed. Things like that. So in this case, it's best to go into um, like right, like go into view and go from like right side or stuff like that. That way you can get um, exact uh, rotations instead of like because if you rotate from a side like this it's going to go and rotate really weirdly it's not going to rotate exactly on like the X or Y axis so I suggest going into like um, the sides and the front and stuff like that it's really really nice to have a number pad for this so just a heads up uh, but yeah you can basically pose him however you want just by grabbing these bones just by selecting them and then R to rotate and G to grab uh, some of them, when you grab them, actually are attached like this bone. So like this one, if I try to grab it, it's just going to rotate it instead because it's attached to this bone and that doesn't make sense to sense to tear away the bone, if that makes sense. Uh, but basically, you can grab this guy if you want to. I don't know why you would, but you can. And I'm just going to pose my guy really, really fast and see what I can do. Great, so I made this amazing, amazing pose. It looks phenomenal. And the only problem is, though, I kind of, like, I was imagining him holding a sword. And, well, at this point, just looking at his hand, which is kind of dull. So, how can we get this guy to have a sword? Well, luckily, that file that we had earlier, it actually includes a lot of items and blocks. So, just go back to File, Apprehend, and then go back to that file, which is right here. And then you can go into Blocks if you want to add a block. But in this case, I want to add an item because a sword is an item go into objects this time because each and every one of these is a different object and you see a lot of different things such as like an apple or a carrot or a cake while wow, I just named like all foods and wow <laughs> or a gray dye or gunpowder something like that in this case we want to find sword diamond so we double click on that and you'll see that we get a nice diamond sword and it's a little bit big for my guy. I'm going to just position it like this. But wow, like it's, it's a big sword. I don't want it that big. So how can we do make it much, much smaller? Well, by hitting S, you can now size it down by moving your mouse. And I want it about that size, I'd say. Uh, maybe that's a little bit small. Yeah, make it a little bit bigger like that. Perfect. I love it. So I absolutely love my guy. I think he looks awesome. Uh, and if we hit Control uh, Shift Z, sorry, then you'll see what he will actually look like in the finished product. And I think it, will, it looks great. Except maybe I want to change the sun just a little bit like that. 
and now, wow, look at my masterpiece. I have to go and show this to all my friends. So what you want to do is you want to press zero on the number pad, or you can go to view and press camera right there. And now you want to hit N, and you want to go up here to lock camera to view. Just check that. And now you'll be able to see that you can move throughout the scene with your camera by zooming with your mouse and uh, pressing the mouse, um, the scrolling mouse button down and holding shift down, stuff like that, like I showed you guys at the beginning. And now you can pose the camera just how you want it, just perfectly. I think right there is amazing. And I think it's time to go and render this. So what you want to do is you want to press this camera right here and you want to go down to sampling and this is how nice your um, finished product will look. So let's say I put it at one and I go up here and I press render. You'll see all this like um, dots and whatnot. It just does not look pretty at all. It looks really, really low quality, just not good at all. So you want to put that number way higher. One's like awful, that's the worst obviously. For this, something as simple as just a Minecraft character, it's not that hard for the computer to render. So I suggest about 100, you could probably even do less. My computer's pretty good, so it can get the job done really well and fast. Uh, but there you go, you'll see the final product. Now you'll see these rough edges right here, all these dots, really does not look good, which is sad because it should, it just doesn't. Uh, it might be different for your computer, I don't know, uh, but for mine, what I have to do is I actually have to buff up the resolution by a lot, and I mean a lot. Now as this renders, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I boosted up the resolution. All I did was come over here where it says resolution and put these numbers to 4K. I know that's really, really high, but I'll save it to 180 um, and it will look great. Blender is just weird like that and you have to work around this weirdness. Uh, but Either way, it works really, really well, and I suggest giving it a try. Uh, I, at this point, am pretty much a Blender expert, which I'm really happy I am, because it it's really does work wonders once you know how to use it. Uh, really last fast thing that I want to show you guys is, um, it's basically the same as adding an item, but let's say I just wanted to add a block. All you have to do is go to apprehend, go to that file, and then press blocks, and go into object and then choose the block you want. In this case, I just want a, I want a diamond ore. And then once again, you can just model this how you want to. Let's put it right under my feet, like so. And we, uh, you can press Shift D if you want to duplicate it. And we'll put it super close so you can't quite see the gap. And we'll do that again. Okay, great, looking great. Now we just have to put it Oop. You can also press shift and right click to select multiple things like so. So we'll just bring it right under our character like that. And now you can see the diamonds or right underneath him. And it looks great. You can see that gap a little bit, but to uh, fix that, you can just zoom in really, really, really far and just push the block a little bit, you know, until it's like literally like one pixel away from the other block. Uh, but there you go. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you did, then please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I suggest, you know, working with Blender, giving it a shot. It's really, really powerful, and just don't get frustrated. Remember, this is just for fun. Uh, but I hope you guys really enjoy this episode, and I'll s tutorial, whatever, but I'll see you guys later.